for this program. Along with me, our Minister for PWD, Law and Judiciary, Legislature, Environment and Climate Change, Mr. Nilesh Kabra. Uh, here, Dr. Rini Franklin, Country Representative and Head of United Nations Industrial Development Organization. Mr. Mahesh Patil, Chairman of Goa State Pollution Control Board. Sri uh, Vinam Vinamar Vishra, Director, GNP, Minister of Micro and Small uh, Medium Entrepreneurs. Sri Sanjay Shreshta, and all of the dignitaries of the pharma companies and representatives from the uh, different part of India. I'm happy to see that GEDA and UNIDO have collaborated to organize this workshop on sustainable energy and environmental solution for the pharmaceutical industries of Goa. This is in line with Goa's Clean Energy Roadmap, launched during the Energy Transitional Ministerial Meeting of the G20, which provides a multi-sectoral action plan to decarbonize all sectors of the uh, economy by 2050. Renewable energy and energy efficiency interventions will soon be introduced and implemented in sectors including tourism, transport, industry, health, agriculture and fisheries, as well as food. Specific plans to green sectors such as health and tourism have already been initiated. For industries in particular, the government of Goa is in process of adopting several renewable energy interventions. This includes the energy benchmarking for industrial zone, R&D and, and piloting the support to develop innovative energy efficiency technologies, energy audits for MSME, driving the transition from fossil-based energy sources to clean energy alternatives, and promoting the use of compressed biogas or CBG, biomass residue, co-filing and solar thermal concentrators for, in, for industrial process heating. We are also developing green hydrogen policy and net zero emission policy for the industries, which will soon be adopted. The Goa government has initiated the discussion with Paradis Phosphates Limited for pilot green hydrogen and green ammonia projects. We are also in discussion with BITS and NIT Goa to set up the green hydrogen research facility in the state. The Goa government has also notified an open access policy to help industry to achieve its net zero goals. Under this policy, electricity consumers and with demand loads of 1 <coughs> megawatt or more are eligible to receive the solar power under open access during the daytime as well as the peak hours. Further, from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., they can receive power through their battery energy storage system. The policy targets providing up to 15% of the Goa's total demand through solar power via open access on the first come first services. GADA has installed an innovative grid connected. It is a building integrated photovoltaic system wherein the vertical solar panels are installed on the walls of Dr. Shama Prasad Pukhaji Stadium in Bamboli that can generate the 15 kilowatts of electricity. GEDA has also installed the concentric solar thermal plant at the super specialty hospital at Goa Medical College. The hospital utilizes the recycled water from the sewage treatment plant for the laundry applications. The further support industry, we have installed the state-of-the-art common biomedical waste facilities in Kunde and the common hazardous waste treatment facilities at Pisurle. The Goa government has also decided that 100% renewable based electricity supplies will be provided to all demand sectors by 2050. All new power purchase agreements signed by Goa government will be for renewable energy. Goa has also signed an MOU with SGVN to set up the ground mounted and floating and solar installation. I thank the officials of UNIDO for holding the workshop for the pharmaceuticals company in Goa. I urge the state industries to implement the recommendations made by the UNIDO during the workshop for energy efficiency technologies, 
The state government will provide all the necessary support as a strive to build the green economy and that will strive as an example to our nation of what can be achieved when the government and industry work together to creatively for the greater goal. I am excited to see our, uh, see our plans being implemented constructing the clean and sustainable Goa for the future generations. Once again, I welcome all of you for this workshop. Thank you, one and all. Thank you so much, sir, for taking out time to attend the event, even after having a site assembly scheduled. I hope your address would have paved the way to understand the RE implementation strategies for Goa.